this video, we will demonstrate the correct installation of a deformation controlled or drop-in anchor intended for use in concrete. They should not be used in brickwork or blockwork. Some manufacturers allow use in high-density natural stone. The fixing must be installed with the manufacturer's specified setting punch and witness marks will be indented in the rim of the anchor. Ensure that the anchor to be installed is the exact type specified and carries a European Technical Assessment or ETA. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions as detailed on the packaging and always wear the appropriate PPE. Make sure you have the correct tools for the installation, as shown here. Only use drill bits which carry the PGM mark of quality assurance. This will ensure that the drill bit diameter is manufactured to specify control dimension. Start by drilling the hole to the correct diameter and depth. Blow and brush any remaining drilling debris out of the hole before the anchor is installed. Tap the anchor into the hole, taking care not to damage the mouth or internal threads. Using the correct setting tool and club hammer, drive the expansion cone fully home till the shoulder of the setting tool contacts the anchor lip. Insert the bolt and tighten to the manufacturer's specified torque. Ensure that the correct anchor is being installed as specified. Drill to the correct diameter and depth. Ensure that the fixture bolt is of appropriate length. Blow and brush any remaining drilling debris out of the hole. Only install using the correct manufacturer's setting tool, which are diameter specific. Tighten to the manufacturer's specified torque. This video is a guide only, so be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions during installation. You can find more demonstrations just like this one on our website, the-cfa.co.uk, as well as method statements and technical advice and documentation.